Jiro looked around the room. All the girls and Ojiro were either focused on the movie or asleep and cuddling. Jiro tapped Momo's leg and she brought her head closer to Jiro's. Something happened at Shinzo's dorm and Danki left. Shoto wants me to check on him. Jiro whispered. Momo nodded her head and pushed Jiro away from her lap. Be safe. Make sure my babies are getting along. Jiro slowly made her way to the door and looked back to see everyone passed out. She gave Yaoyorozu a wink before leaving the room. She made her way down the hall and could hear the laughter from Shinzo's room. They must be enjoying themselves, Jiro thought. As she made her way down the hall, she pondered why Kami wasn't with them. He was acting strange at the study session from what Momo told her. And now he was missing out on a fun night with all the guys. That's not something Kami would do. He liked being the life of the party, being the idiot everyone could laugh at. He had a gift making others laugh, that was for sure. Just one of the many things that made Jiro fall for him. Something about the way that you walked into my living room Casually and confident looking at the mess I am But still you, still you want me Jiro perked her head up and listened for the sound. It was soothing, almost warm to listen to. The voice was familiar, but she never heard it so graceful before. She followed it all the way to the room she was looking for. Stress lines and cigarettes, politics and deficits, late bills and no just screaming and hollering, but still you, still you want me. Kaminari's door was slightly open, leaving Jiro to peek through. Kami was sitting in his couch, guitar in hand, and a bottle of Advil in front of him. His fingers strummed some chords and plucked at certain strings, resulting in a beautiful melody. Oh, I always let you down. The shattered on the ground, but still I find you there, next to me. Oh, stupid things I do I'm far from good, it's true But still I find you next to me Jiro leaned closer and closer to the door Eventually opening it all the way and revealing herself completely Kaminari looked up in surprise What are you doing here? Kami asked he put his guitar down and gave Jiro a sweet smile. Oh, I heard the music and followed it here. Why didn't you tell me you played guitar? That was amazing! Jiro exclaimed. Thank you. It's my favorite song. And I... I don't know. I've never felt comfortable playing it in front of people. Kami shrugged and stared at the floor. Jiro sat on the couch next to him, shifting his guitar away. She put a hand on his shoulder and her other hand rested on his lap. You know you can tell me anything, right? Jiro assured she could see some sort of pain in Kaminari's eyes, yet she didn't know what it was from. Kaminari didn't respond. He started putting his guitar in the case. I wish that were true. He turned around and wrapped his arms around her. Don't worry, I'm okay. Jiro closed her eyes and squeezed him in tighter. Shoto said you left Shinzo's room early. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I've had a headache for the past couple days. I won't fucking leave. Kaminari reached for the bottle of Advil, only for it to be swiped away by Jiro. Kami tried to grab it from her, but she put it behind her head and huffed and <laughs> The two play fought until Jiro had Kami on his back, their lips extremely close to one another's. Kaminari cupped Jiro's face and closed his eyes. As the two came closer, a high-pitched squeal could be heard from just outside the door. Jiro turned her head to see all the girls staring intently at them with their hands covering their mouths. Jiro and Kaminari scrabbled off of each other in heaps of blush while Momo scolded Jiro and Kaminari. Jiro got up to quickly leave before Kaminari grabbed her hand. 
He pulled her in for another hug and was greeted by open arms that embraced him completely. Thank you. He said. He placed a kiss on her cheek and backed up bearing his obvious smile. Jiro's cheeks were deep red as she stared at the floor before looking back at him with a grin. The girls left the room and Kaminari laid on his bed in disbelief. Shoto came back to see Pikachu curled up in his blankets. He gave a small <laughs> chuckle and took the Advil bottle away. He checked inside to see only half the pills left. The bottle was new, about a week old. <sighs> Next time, just water. Shoto sighed quietly. <laughs> well, that was a fun night! Is Mineta still on Shinzo's ceiling? That's small mite. No, I made sure to put him back in his own room. Couldn't stand the sight of a screaming grape. You did what? At Ingenium. Care to explain? Don't worry, it was all for a just cause. Put it this way. Mineta asked Bakugo a question that involved him not having lost his, uh... Oh, shit. Should I... begin the countdown? At Frosty Flames. What countdown? One... Bakugo is really the man behind the slaughter. Nice knowing you, Adflex Tape. <laughs> Help me! I mean... Technically, I am his doormate. I should probably barricade something. At Tentacle. Dude, you have to make a bomb shelter to be safe. I can't hold it back! Send help! No one's gonna touch the fact that Bakugo hasn't lost his V-card? Please! I put Kaminari in my will to have all my weed. Enjoy, bro. I'm gonna miss you. He's loose! At Flex Tape, how did it feel now, sticky bits? Mina, I'm scared. What's up, Dara? Did something happen in class today? No, it was from girls' night. I think... Kento's gonna steal Oshi from me. Aggie, don't worry. You and Ojiro have been friends forever. There's no way he'd leave for someone he literally just met. Did you see them last night, though? They were cuddling. We were cuddling. Everyone was cuddling. But they were really cuddling. He looks so happy with her. Why can't I make him happy like that? You can, Taru. But you just need to make a move now. What? I, I can't. I'll ruin our friendship. Okay, have fun watching your man eating the gingerbread cookie. Mina! What the fuck? I'm joking. But seriously, tell him how you feel. I'm positive he was just being nice to Kendo the other night and would immediately date you if you asked him to. I just don't want to ruin things. What if he says no? Don't think about that. Just go get your fluff ball. Okay. What about you and Kiri? Has anything happened since your ice cream apocalypse? No. But I'm asking him to hang out this week. Probably do something simple. Well, here's to you and me getting our mans. Hell yeah! Last night was pretty fun, huh? Uh, not to be rude, but this conversation would go a lot easier if I knew the person texting me. Right. Sorry, it's Kendo. Oh, that's better. Is it now? I, uh, yeah. Last night was great. You weren't uncomfortable with us cuddling, right? I thought it was amazing, hun. You're so fluffy. And warm. I am glad you're okay with that. If I may ask, why did you want to know if I was dating Toru? Do you want me to spell it out for you? <laughs> Actually, yes. I've been let on multiple times, and I don't want to get hurt. Again. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have been the way I was at girls' night. So you were just acting then? Or were you simply being nice because I was the only boy there? If you're gonna say something, then please say it now. Ojiro. Actually, can I call you Oji? 
Of course. Okay. I really like you, OG. I have for a while, but I always had it in my mind you were dating Toru. I saw how playful and sweet she was towards you, and I knew if I tried to get closer, it would only break you two apart. So when I saw her and Mina cuddling on the couch, I figured it would be okay to snuggle with you. And it was like I died in a softer version of heaven. I completely understand if you don't reciprocate these feelings. But now you know. How's that for spelling it out? Kendo, I really like you too. In fact, I was blushing the entire night because I couldn't stop staring at you. You're beautiful. Oh. So, what do you think? If we're gonna try this, we need to take it slow. For my sake. Of course. How about we go on a mini date? I need to grab some stuff from the grocery store, and Mina was going to ask Hiroshima to join. It would be fun. And the company would make things less awkward. I like that a lot. All right. I'll see you tomorrow at the front entrance. Let's say 4 p.m.? Sounds perfect. Carrie. What's up, Mina? Kendo asked me to go grocery shopping, and I want you to come. Really? Why me? What about Toru? She's busy lottery tomorrow. Do you not want to come? I, I do! I really do want to be with you. Uh, like hang out, of course. <laughs> Yay! Okay, we're going after class tomorrow. See you then. Sounds good. Guess who's got a date? Bakugo? Midoriya? Kami? Shoto? You fucking idiots. Those were all very valid guesses. Just saying. Me! That's amazing! Who's it with? Deku, how fucking dense can you be? I'm sorry. Did I ask for your opinion, Kachan? Fuck you! Has anyone ever seen Bakugo send the message without the word fuck? Nope. Nuh uh. When is Kachan ever happy? That's the real question. Fuck all of you! Love you too, Daddy Baki! Wow, thought my friends actually cared about me. Sorry, Kiri. Tell us the details. Mina asked me to go to the grocery store with her and Kendo tomorrow. That's your version of a date? Shake my head. Bro, imagine getting a date. Shake my head. Imagine having functional emotions. Shake my head. Anyways... Should I tell her? Yeah, bro! She'd think that'd be super manly! Go for it, Eijiro! I'm sure she'll reciprocate the same feelings. Yeah! Worst comes to worst, she denies your ass and we have to deal with your moping. Bro, what the hell? We all know I'm gonna be the one moping if he gets dumped. You guys suck sometimes. What about me? Good luck, Kirishima. Don't fuck up. What he said. He didn't say fuck! Shoto, Shoto, Shoto. Sho Shoto, Shoto.